Okay, hi class. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at the Adobe Illustrator interface. Okay, and a good way to do that is to go get uh, go get a quick illustration done. So let's grab the star tool. Okay, and I'm going to click one time, and it's going to ask us how big of a star we want. I think a five-sided star is just fine. So we'll put a five-sided star up there. Okay. As you can see, it's red and with red fill with a yellow stroke because that's what we have here in the um, in the color selections. Okay, this solid box means fill. This yellow outline box means stroke. Okay, and of course we can change that to any size that we uh, we want in terms of stroke and we can have a variety of different fills. Okay, Let's go ahead and zoom in on that star by grabbing the little magnifying glass. Okay, And let's change the color. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in. I'll double click on the... Uh, sorry, I didn't zoom in. I'm yeah, simply double clicking on that, uh, on that fill icon. Okay, And let's choose a blue. Now, right now I've got a range of different blues. I kind of like this one. Looks good. Let's go with it. Okay, and sure enough, it changes the uh, fill of my star. Okay, now what I'd like to do is change the stroke. Okay, so I'll double click on that. And for this one, you know, I think let's try a red. Okay, there we go, and I'll select the color and I now have completely changed the look of this. Okay, However, it's kind of hard to see and I, and I specifically chose the red and the blue because they're so contrasty with each other that it makes things a little bit hard to see. Okay, Well, that's alright. I can go over here um, to view Okay, and I can view outline. Okay, And that's one of the things shown in your book. And when I choose the direct selection tool now I can see the points that are available inside this star. Okay, and let's say I wanted to change this up a little bit and maybe make the star look a little wacky. I'll deselect and I'll grab individual points. Okay, and now I can make that star look any way that I want. Okay, and now I've got kind of a wacky looking star. I'll go back to our preview view. Okay, and that's what we have. And now it looks kind of more like a starburst from a 60s, uh, 60s ad or something like that. Like, they're going to sell you a mattress or something like that. But uh, at any rate, that would be one of the things that you can do. So you have a lot of control over paths and points in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so right over here, we have all of the different tools. Okay. And of course, when I change a tool, the, the control panel up here changes as well. Okay, so right now um, you may see that uh, there's a lot of different things going on. If I change to the pen tool, well, I get some different uh, tools that are uh, controls that are specific to the pen tool and so forth. Okay. Also, um, we have things on the appearance panel, and that specifically controls uh, specific uh, attributes of objects, such as this object. I can change uh, the colors. I can uh, the swatch, the line, uh, also known as stroke, the transparency, all kinds of different things in the appearance panel. Okay, so. Another thing that's really nice in the interface that I'd like you to consider are the color guides. So I'll click here on color guides, and I know this is really very small, um, but you can make a selection. You, you click here on the library button, and it'll give you different, uh, different types of colors that you might want to choose, such as impressionism, and it might give you a bunch of selected colors. Uh, that are are kind of pre-chosen based on the kind of look. Let's go with uh, earth tones, for example. Okay, 
and it'll give you an idea of colors that go together so that you can decide how you want your illustration to look. Okay?